Hey, beautiful, good afternoon, uh, wherever you're watching us from. Uh, this is yours truly, uh, Mr. Panuka from, you know, Panuka Farm right here uh, in Lusaka, uh, Zambia. So, yeah, um, today just want, you know, uh, take you around uh, one of the newest, you know, uh, shed nets that we just recently finalized, um, you know, uh, constructing. Um, this can actually accommodate around 4,000, um, you know, plants. Um, we've been at it, uh, trying to put it together. Um, so yeah, let's uh, just take you know walk uh, so that you see uh, how we've designed it. But it's almost similar to the other you know shed nets that we've actually constructed uh, previously. Um, so yeah, so let's let's get going um, so that you see uh, what's going on here. So this time we decided to go uh, with the use of wood, and I will give you more information later. And uh, so, yeah, we treated it uh, right on the farm. Um, and this is how, you know, the process, you know, uh, proceeded. Uh, you can actually see uh, we kind of spaced them. Um, and uh, shortly we'll give you, you know, more dimensions. They're just some of the pictures, um, you know, of the shed net while it's still under uh, construction. Down there, you can actually see you know, we went for the fatigue trenches. I mean, it's uh, something that has actually worked for us. And so we had to uh, go for that. So those are just some of the visuals and where we also got the net, uh, polythene in Lusaka. And uh, you can actually see now, uh, you know, uh, the net now being put uh, quite windy. It took us quite a while given some of the conflicting you know, schedules with the production in other fields. So those are the, you know, fertility trenches, um, you know, done. So this uh, shed net, this time we actually decided to use, um, you know, a wooden poles instead of the uh, the metal, you know, steel poles. Um, and what this allowed us is actually to have, uh, you know, much more, you know, height at less, you know, cost. So uh, what we have here is actually uh, a full... Uh, 2.5 meters, you know, high up, and you can actually see the net is really up there. Um, and then one other thing that you actually note is that, um, you know, unlike the, you know, metal poles where we had about uh, five, um, you know, or so uh, meters between, you know, poles, uh, here I think we're doing around, you know, six to seven, uh, you know, meters uh, between, you know, each of the wooden, uh, you know, poles. So yeah, that that costs you less and. Uh, the poles that we actually used are, uh, you know, treated, so that that helps in terms of just, uh, you know, longevity. So this is the type of poles that we used, the, you know, treated ones. You can actually see. And what we did at the top there uh, is that uh, they are padded at the top to avoid the uh, shed net, you know, from tearing apart. Uh, as it wraps, you know, with the, uh, you know, wooden, you know, post. So we had to put some, you know, uh, you know, padded uh, with a net. Okay. So again, it's just this simple, you know, net, but uh, it lasts if you take care of it. And that's what we intend to do uh, here. So when it comes to land preparations, we actually uh, went with the fatigue trenches, um, you know, dug those. So at this point, the farm residues, manure was already in, and then we put the drippers uh, in preparation for transplanting because the seedlings were already, you know, ready for transplanting. Um, and, and so shortly after this, I think the following day, we actually proceeded to transplant um, the sweet pepper, you know, in the usual zigzag, you know, format in the new shed net. And there you are, um, you know, the sweet pepper transplanted Mr. Panuka in the background. Um, yeah, feeling good that uh, the job is, you know, finally done. So yeah, this this is the structure, and like we've always encouraged you, I think on your farm you've got to try out the new, you know, ways of doing things. Um, so from you know uh, the steel uh, poles, now we've migrated to you know these uh, wooden poles, and uh, we'll see how this goes. But I think we we nailed it. I think we got it right um, at a fraction of a uh, you know cost. So think out outside the box, um, you know, from a farming perspective, so that uh, over time you can actually lower uh, your costs. So again, the, the drip lines we are actually, you know, using here. That's t -tip. Um These are twenty, you know, centimeters, and um, you can actually see they do wet, 
you know the the entire bed and that's what you want um so we look forward to having a very good you know crop of sweet pepper um the rain seems to have actually disappeared again um but yeah um you know our irrigation system seems to be you know functioning uh but we still really you know look forward to um some kind of stabilized uh you know rainfall you know pattern so that we can have our um you know water aquifers replenished so yeah very critical just as expectant as you know those that do uh open field you know uh, farming so yeah this has been yours truly uh you know mr panuka uh just showing you you know this uh newest you know shed net of ours and uh, how we went about uh constructing this um so yeah get out there if you want you can actually replicate this um uh but yeah be ready just for a few shenanigans here and there but um yeah it's all good so thank you so much and uh from you know uh mr panoka have a lovely one bye bye